One day I bumped into this big shot TV guy I know. He said, I'm really desperate. Would you like to host a show? I says, I'm kind of busy here, saving the world from crime. But if the money's right, then buddy, show me where to sign. Show him where to sign. I knew I'd need some co-hosts or I would surely fail. I remembered I had Brack and Zorak locked up in my jail. Hello. I told them all about the show. They were happy as can be. Yeah, right. The show was Cartoon Planet and the rest is history. Re, 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 re. Cartoon Planet starring me. And me. And me. Um. Um. Uh, uh, space Ghost. What's wrong with Bragg? Um. Uh, I just. Uh, um. Oh. Um, uh, Shh. Uh, Oh. He's about to say something. Oh. Hi, uh, Space Ghost. Yes, Brack? Um, where'd the babies come from? Babies? Didn't your mom tell you? Yes, my mom told me. Then why did you ask me? Because I want to hear it from you, because you never lie. Well, you got me there. I always tell the truth. Liar! Shut up! Well? Well, what? Oh, yes. Babies. Exactly. Babies. Where they come from. Yep. This Babies. ought to be good. Babies. Well, Brack, when a mommy and a daddy love each other a whole lot, uh -huh. they, uh, uh -huh. well, they, yeah. uh, they go and, and um, and then, me. how should I put mm -hmm. this? Tread lightly there, Masco. Oh, sure. Well, well, the mommy and the daddy call the hospital and place an order for one big, fat, squishy baby to go, and the mommy eats a pillow, which explains the bigger belly, and about nine months later, the baby's ready, and the mommy and the daddy go and pick the baby up. At the same time, the mommy throws the pillow up, and presto blando, the baby is thus born. Really? Yes. That's it, huh? In a nutshell. Huh. What's wrong? Well, my mom always told me that the big winged bird of Transar swooped down with me in a bundle and dropped me down a chimney on my head. Really? Well, I think your mommy is sorely mistaken. You forgot about the part where the mommy bites off the daddy's head and feeds it to the baby. Ew. Yeah, that's disgusting. Let's get off of this script. And now, here's a nugget of joy from Zorak. Yes, uh, all right. Once there was a very nice green mantis whose name was... Uh, his name is not really important. So anyways, one day while space... Uh, while somebody was taking a nap, this mantis borrowed the Phantom Cruiser and took it for a little spin. I, uh, he was making a loop around the Crab Nebula, also known as Dead Man's Curve, when this stinking salvage vehicle comes out of nowhere and blindsides me. Uh, him. No turn signal, nothing. Sheesh. Hold it! Did you swipe the Phantom Cruiser during my nappy time? Swiped? I borrowed it. I was bringing it back. And you cracked it up? I cracked it up? No, I wouldn't say that. It's more like, uh, I demolished it. No! Hey, you've got spacecraft insurance, right? Yeah, and you've got explosion insurance, right? Uh, hang on, I'll check my coverage. <laughs> Touchy. <laughs> Say that I'm a silly so-and-so. So-and-so. Tell me I'm not clever, cute, or cool. Cool. Trump on my big toe, darling, I still love you so. I'm just a crazy lovesick fool. I know that I embarrass you sometimes. All the times. Like when I threw your mom into the pool. Mom. I yell a lot and you can't understand the word I say. But hey, I'm just a crazy lovesick fool. I remember the night we met. It was in the laundromat. You came in to wash your feet. 
feet. She was eating a pile of meat. And then they say one turn off. At the moment, I am indisposed. Indisposed. But when and if someday I get to free. Free, take me. We'll find a little cottage with a twin tent and a slide. And crazy. Somebody, please kill me. Attention, Cancer! You're a man after me own heart. You don't take nothing from nobody. But you might want to cut your sweetie some slack. The other day when she asked you to pass the sugar, you started ranting and raving about being your own man and not taking orders from any stupid girl. Hey. All she wanted was a little sugar. Hey, buongiorno, everybody. This is the Bracker, and it's time for learning to talk Italian. A lesson one. If you were in an Italian restaurant and you wanted to order the soup of the day, you would ask for the Zuppa di Giorno. Zuppa di Giorno. And were you interested in the squash of the day, you would ask for the Zucca di Giorno. Zucca di Giorno. Zucca di Giorno. Hey, look at me, Brack. I'm talking Italian. Bel Conino. Yes, Space Ghost. And if you were in an Italian restaurant, the waiter would say, Spacio Gosto a un grande babuino. Spacio Gosto a un grande babuino. What's that mean? Space Ghost is a big baboon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, if I just happened to see you in an Italian restaurant, you know what I'd say? What? Mamma mia! Here comes a one a spicy meatball. Are you the... One time I had this teacher who didn't like me, so I wrote a note with little hearts and flowers on it, and that said, even though you think I'm stupid, I still love you. But that didn't help, so I made a statue of the teacher out of cheese with a ribbon around it, and I said, this is for you. Can I get extra credit? But she just, you know, kind of just shook her head no. I guess there's just no pleasing some people. The end. Did you know that the size of human teeth is decreasing while the size of their rear ends is increasing? And did you know that your height and the size of your nose are determined by the climate that your ancestors lived in? <laughs> Space Ghost, for example, doesn't have a nose. And what does that tell you? I do too have a nose. What a thing to say! Here's another one. Did you know that Hungary is next to Turkey and Greece? Think about it. How can you be hungry next to Turkey and Greece? Uh, now where was I? Uh, oh, oh, did you know that there's no I in team, but there's a me? And did you know there's no I in team, but there's a mate? And did you know there's no I in teamwork, but there's an Ewok? And did you know that whales don't have teeth, and kangaroos really do box, and Elvis is alive, and cyanide is made from peach pits, and Roseanne used to be skinny, and that I have five bottles of toenail polish, two blue, two purple, and one black? You didn't know that, did you? Well, did you? Where do you keep your toenail polish, Mandy? Yeah, like I tell you. Hey, this poem was sent in by Clay Jones. Where am I? Wait a minute. I'm another Tom Jones. Not unusual to be loved by everyone. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Am I here? No, no.
no, no. Am I here? No, no, no. Oh, here I am. Thank you very much. Here's a letter from one of my adoring fans. Dear Space Ghost, have you ever seen a lamb on top of a water tower? Do you like coffee and turkey giblets? You are a giant porkcock. How nice. Do you know knick-knack paddywhack? Do you wear boxers or tidy whities That's none of your beeswax. And please stop eating those horseradishes. Sincerely, Oscar Nyer, Keel, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Ha! He's a cheesehead. Well, let's try another one. Dear Space Ghost, I love your show. Moo. He, 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 ha. What was I saying? Moo. El queso está malo. Super cow can beat you up and get milk on your suit. Ha! Hi yourself, bozo. Ich bin ein Schweinweifer. I live near Cartoon Planet when I am where I am, which is rare but often. Eat more chicken. Um, uh, moo. Signed, The Mad Cow, Kingston, Georgia. Somebody didn't take their medicine. Gee, was that letter really written by a cow? Wasn't, was it? It's, uh, why you're looking at me like that? Well, you know, I'm not as dumb as I look. I'm dumber. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy, I'm dumber! <laughs> no, 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 wait! I'm dumber than that! <laughs> oh boy, am I dumb! <laughs> oh boy! Phew! Now it's time once again for the Cartoon Planet Storybook! Today's story is called Close but no cigar. It was written by Ms. Tiberius Monk. She's a zombie. No, she is not. Coco is a beautiful flower. Lawrence the caterpillar took to asking her out. She took to saying yes. They were quite taken with each other. A charming bee named Lily served them tea. Lily made Lawrence nervous. He was allergic to bees. Bring me the check, he snorted. Coco thought Lawrence was being rude to Lily. Kel jerk, she said, and stormed out. Lawrence wanted to cry, but didn't. The end. Yeah. You ever been to Chicago? I know I haven't. But they've got a thing there called the blues. So slap your hands together for the Cartoon Planet Blues Band. Oh, yeah. What do you say?
sick. Well, suffer no more, for I am Zorak, the doctor of love. Dear Zorak, my girlfriend eats big onion burgers and then she tries to kiss me. Uh, what should I do? Bring her here, I'll kiss her. With what? You don't have any lips. Honey, I'll plant one right on your... Hey! How come I don't have any lips? Next, dear Sora. Can I make some lips? I have every single episode of The Love Boat on videotape. What do you think of that? Love ah, Boat! Something is something! Everyone, the love boat. Da -da -da. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cartoon Planet is proud to present one of the great. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cartoon Planet is proud to present one of the greatest comedy minds of our century, Brack. Oh, hey, hey, thank you for having me on the Cartoon Planet, everybody. I got a few jokes for you. A man walked into a restaurant. Do you serve crabs here? He asked. Yes, said the waiter. <laughs> Oh, the other day I saw a man with one leg named Ralph. Oh, really? Was he nice? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Ted saw a man and a dog playing chess. Wow, Ted said. That's the smartest dog I ever saw. I know, answered the man. <laughs> oh, oh, knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Wait a minute. Didn't I see you the other night? Oh, 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 oh thank you, everybody. I'd rather be on Cartoon Planet than be on the greatest places in the universe. Thank you. Dear, 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 uh, uh, a meteor done flat in Chester's pickup truck today. Aliens from Planet Nine abducted Ellie Mae. Grandpa's outside howling at the moon. Ooh. It's an ordinary day on Cartoon Planet. Gus and Kitty's are married to this good old gal from Mars. She's got 16 heads and three legs and loves to eat cigars. The particle transformer somehow lost old Uncle Fred. And a satellite just fell on Grandpa's head. <laughs> it's an ordinary day on Cartoon Planet. Drive safely, y'all. Here's a letter. Dear Space Ghost, Brack the Cute Little Kitty, and Zorak the Bug Guy, I like your show very much. It's so funny. Shut up. Raphael Lirigurana Zunda, Key Largo, Florida. This one's from old Kansas Jake. Dear Zorak, have your people call my people and I'll hook you up with some power bands to blow up Space Ghost. <laughs> Here's a joke. What's black and blue and where's a cape? I give up what? Space Ghost after you get through with him. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. You want some of this? No, not today. I'm trying to cut back. Dear Brack, I'm madly in love with you. You're the hottest guy I've ever seen. You can drive down my highway for it any time. Here's this love that I'm feeling. This must be love that I've been searching for. Is this love? Why don't you come and sing in my punk band? Sign Lindsay Dix, St. Elmo, Illinois. Well, thank you, Lindsay, for saying that I'm a hot guy, but I can't sing in your band because I'm already in a band. It's called the Cartoon Planet Band, and you don't want to be like Yoko Kimono and break it up because then nobody would like you. Okay? Okay. Roses are red, roses are blue. Here's a poem that I wrote. It's called Simply Life. Life 
is a game. Life is a dance. Life is a nice pair of corduroy pants. So when you're in trouble, just keep this in mind. Never stop trying and watch your behind. That's deep. It rhymes, too. I noticed. You know, I myself have written a poem. It's called Chubby Chubby Choo Choo. Should I read it? I can only think of about 10,000 reasons why you shouldn't. Ahem. <clears throat> chubby Chubby Choo Choo, coming down the track, belching smoke and cinders, turns my blue sky black. I wave to the jolly conductor, but the bozo don't wave back. Get out of here, Chubby Choo Choo. You're bumming out Zorak. True story. Ch -ch chubby Chubby Choo Choo makes Zorak sadzy, sadzy, wadzy. Yeah, sure, right. I give and give and give, and I just get it thrown back in my face. <laughs>